residents of Los Angeles. Did you know that for more than 10 years, it has been illegal in Los Angeles to operate a gas-powered leaf blower within 500 feet of a residence? Let me repeat that. For more than 10 years, per LA Municipal Code 112.4C, it has been illegal to operate a gas-powered leaf blower within 500 feet of any Los Angeles residence. I know what you're saying. That's crazy. I see them every day. You may even be hearing or looking at one right now. I'm Ed Begley. We've all been hearing them and choking on their dust and debris for far too long. And we need to do something about it. Yeah, we should be doing something about it. What we should be saying is, why are they still around? And more importantly, why are they illegal in the first place? Well, gas-powered leaf blowers are powered by extremely dirty two-stroke engines. And there are four major health hazards from having gas leaf blowers in operation. Exhaust pollution, particulate pollution, the quantity of pollution, and noise pollution produced by them. Various local governments around the country have already taken action recommending cities, school districts, community college districts, and entire counties stop using gas-powered leaf blowers in their maintenance and cleanup operation. Exhaust emissions from leaf blowers consist of hydrocarbons from both burned and unburned fuel, which combine with other gases in the atmosphere to form ozone, carbon monoxide, fine particulate matter, and other toxic air contaminants in the unburned fuel, including benzene, 1,3-butadiene, and formaldehyde. According to a current article in the Los Angeles Daily News, the rate of asthma for children in Los Angeles is now 11%, up 3% from the LA Public Health Study in 2004. Children take in far more pollutants per pound of body weight than adults, and are more prone to get diseases such as asthma. One out of nine children in Los Angeles suffers from asthma. The EPA has estimated that gas-powered lawn equipment contributes between 10 and 20 percent of the carbon emissions that contribute to greenhouse gases. That's almost equal to all the automobiles on our roads. It has been estimated that one leaf blower contributes the same exhaust pollution into the air in the course of one hour as 17 older model vehicles without smog devices, or 80 fuel-efficient vehicles such as the type we drive today. Also, along with the exhaust pollution from leaf blowers, 20 tons of particulate matter is dispersed into the air every day. Particulate matter includes such elements as harmful chemicals, dust, pesticides, leaves, fertilizers, insects, spores, molds, fecal matter, and allergic fungi, to name just a few. The UCLA School of Public Health states that children, elderly, and leaf blower users who take in the particulate matter are significantly risking their health. A professor of toxology at the UCLA School of Public Health, Dr. John Freunds, wrote in a letter to the LA City Council that the effects of particulate matter on the human body may cause severe lung and respiratory problems, allergies, and other organic dust problems. Currently, valley fever is dangerously on the rise. Listen to how much quieter these exhaust-free, non-polluting, and eco-friendly electric-powered bottles are while doing your yard work. See, my mower is very quiet. We like it that way. No emissions either. You wouldn't even be able to hear me right now if this was a gas-powered blower. They are available on leaf blowers, lawn mowers, weed whackers, and hedge trimmers. Also, don't be afraid to pick up a rake or push a motorless mower for all your yard work needs. So please, talk to your landscaper and instruct them to use only electric powered and or non-polluting equipment for all of your lawn maintenance needs. There are local landscapers who offer non-polluting alternatives and are dedicated to being completely green and eco-friendly. Just say no to gas powered leaf blowers and the unnecessary pollution they cause. This pollution threatens the health of the workers who operate this type of equipment, our children, our elderly, our community, and the future of our planet. Again, gas-powered leaf blowers have been illegal in L.A. for more than 10 years, and both landscaper and homeowner can each get a $100 citation if its use is reported. It's a law that has never been aggressively or effectively enforced, and it's time for that to change. We want cleaner air for all of our Los Angeles residents. Please go to our website to find out how you can make a difference with this illegal and easy-to-fix problem. Go to www.scnc. Dot info. I'm Ed Begley. Thank you for caring about our environment and the quality of health in Los Angeles.